Hi everyone, I'm Lisa Allen, your host for HGTV series of Community Champions. Despite the distresses COVID-19 has put on all our communities, we are witnessing a universal generosity from financial donations to volunteering to those who are just sharing their expertise that might support someone else getting back on track. At HTTV, our focus is always on you, our community. And during this pandemic, there's nothing different. We are highlighting extraordinary people who are making up our great community all across the state and basically telling the story of what the best of humanity looks like during a difficult time. Thank you for watching and stay safe. Today, I'm speaking with Lifetime Summit resident, Katie Darcy, who has been a role model during this very difficult time. Katie is the organizer of FLAG in Summit, which stands for the Frontline Appreciation Group. If you haven't heard of it yet, it's an incredible movement that has been supporting our frontline healthcare workers while simultaneously supporting our local restaurants. Thank you so much for joining me, Katie. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. So tell us about this amazing organization, FLAG, and how you got involved. I was looking on Facebook one day, talking with a couple friends, feeling very frustrated uh, that I wanted to get involved and do something for the community. I saw that a group in Chatham had started a group called FLAG, a Frontline Appreciation Group. Um, my husband is a board member on the Summit Police Athletic League, and we sat around and thought it might be great for the two of us to partner together, create a Summit FLAG and support Overlook Hospital. So help walk me through what the process is. Once someone goes onto um, the Powell website and donates, what happens to the money from there? We were very lucky. I initially just invited my personal Facebook friends. Uh, it has now turned into an organization with over 2,000 members. Within the first 24 hours, we raised over $20,000 from this generous community. So if you do make a donation, you uh, go onto the Summit PAL website. There's a place that you can either do it by credit card and you can specify that the funds go to flag or you can send a check in. Uh, the PAL then keeps that money. We then reach out, as this is a two-fold operation, we reach out to local restaurants. We want to support them as well. Um, they, we arrange food for them to do. We usually do between 75 and 150 meals at Overlook twice a day. So we go through the specifics with each and every restaurant and talk to them about um, keeping things very safe. Everything we asked uh, to be individually sectioned off, half portions, everything's very much grab and go, things that can be put into the microwave, um, and some healthy options. We've gotten a lot of feedback from the front line that they want some healthy options. So we go through that whole process with uh, each restaurant. We usually have one to two restaurants for lunch and one to two restaurants for dinner. We've been lucky enough to have some amazing volunteers that pick up the food at the restaurants. Everything is hands-free. Um, the restaurants put it in your trunk. You then drive it over to Overlook Hospital and their staff has been lovely and generous. They take it right out of the car and it's labeled and delivered to multiple floors and multiple teams all throughout the hospital. That sounds like an amazing logistical feat. And so how much money have you raised in order to make this all possible? We have raised to date, we are a month in, we have raised roughly $110,000 and we have put roughly $43,000 back into the local community. So what have you learned about your community since you've been doing this that you may not have known otherwise in getting involved in FLAG? Because you're a lifetime Summit resident. Nothing surprises me. I think this community is very, very generous. So I'm not surprised on how much money and how fast we are able to raise it, how many people have raised their hands to do deliveries. Uh, I have been very uh, pleasantly surprised by other small businesses innovating themselves and, and changing and evolving based on the times. We were lucky enough to have a friend who owns uh, Club Pilates. Right now, obviously, the, the, their place is closed, but they reinvented themselves, and um, Caroline Collins was lovely enough to do a Zoom class that benefited FLAG, and to date, it is still our largest donation. It is over $7,000 that she raised that was donated to FLAG. That is incredible. And I think you even did a fundraiser with Beauty Counter, Tell me a little bit about that. We did a fundraiser. Uh, some of the feedback we were getting from inside was wearing the masks all day. Their lips were very dry. Uh, their hands were obviously dry from washing their hands. So Beauty Counter is a, a clean beauty product. So we did a fundraiser where um, 
we just ask people to donate money. I pay for all the, the shipping and taxes, uh, and we probably send 75 uh, small personal care items to the hospital yesterday, and we were lucky enough to get a picture back uh, with them enjoying it and just being very pleasantly surprised at the level of thought our community has given to each and every one of their needs. Yeah. And, you know, it takes someone like yourself to really drive that forward and make it happen because it's been such a big effort. I mean, I can say I live in your neighborhood and I see packages getting dropped off of food and various um, items and people are coming by to fill up their car. So I really, you know, applaud you for making this possible in our community. Um, one thing I want to bring up, it's a little bit more personal for for you. You and I have spoken a little bit and something that you said to me, I found very profound. You said once you realized you had a passion for something, you felt like you, you don't need to sleep. You could work 24 seven when you, this whole flag experience has changed your life. I think that's quite a statement. You've been a stay at home mom, you've worked, you've gone through the gamut, and to hear you be so incredibly passionate about something, I would like for you to share with the audience, is there some kind of, kind of advice that you could give to others? Because I, will, I feel like after this pandemic is over, people will either be forced to morph into something new, because um, our society is gonna change, and or people have realized that they want to morph into something new because they feel life is short and they want to be connected with something. So what kind of advice would you share with those people who are just starting their journey? I will say that in doing this, it felt very natural to me and it gave me purpose. And when I feel those two things, I, it does not seem like work at all. It seems like what I've been put here to do. Um, it was a need that we saw and I knew the community would step up, but I definitely did say yes before figuring out all the logistics um, because I knew if, if the community couldn't step up in, in, in some logistical ways, I knew I would, I, I would take care of it because I felt so strongly and passionately about it. Um, I know myself having looked for a job, having not taken some jobs, uh, it is now for me all about purpose. If I find purpose and meaning in what I'm doing, I will give it 500% and I will do it 24 seven. Mm. Well, I wanna thank you for being our local courageous hero and stepping up and doing what you've done. And even though you say, well, I don't feel like a hero, I really do believe it took a lot of perseverance. You've de dedicated a lot of your personal time. And I know that HGTV thanks you and our community thanks you. If people wanna get involved, where should they go? They should go to the Summit PAO website. That's the way you can donate. And as I said, you can do it by credit card or you can do it by check. Uh, we also have a Facebook page. It's Flag, F-L-A-G Summit, where I post probably too much information. I post every single time we drop a meal. I like to highlight the restaurants that are, that are still open so people make sure that they patronize them as well. And we also have an Instagram page, Flag underscore Summit. I would like to just make sure everybody knows I might be the face of these two pages that we've created, but obviously it does take a village. There are plenty of people behind the scenes making phone calls to restaurants, making headbands with buttons, um, Girl Scout notes. The entire community has stepped up in many beautiful ways. Today I learned of a woman that I've never met before who chose to raise money for her birthday and wanted, wants to donate it to Flag. So she's sending a check for over $400 as just a beautiful gesture of her generosity. And, and that means a lot. Excellent. I can't thank you enough for coming on today and talking about your organization and all the hard work that you and everyone has been putting in. So thank you so much on behalf of HTTV. And thank you for joining today. For more inspirational stories just like this, check out our HTTV website, our Facebook page, or Instagram. Have a great day.